Well, welcome back to Miami Beach. And joining me is Miami resident, or has been, born and bred here, is Margie Engel. Margie, we're more or less in your hometown with this show. It must be extra special for you. Oh, it's fantastic. I never thought that we'd have a horse show here in Miami, much less on the beach. And in terms of, from your point of view, I mean, this is the kind of place that you've been when you were growing up, isn't it? Oh, yes, I grew up a little bit south of here. And as a kid, we used to come to the beach with our families and brings back lots of great memories. And in terms of what we see behind us, I mean, is this the kind of thing that anyone would ever envisaged anywhere in the world? No, I don't think I would ever imagine having a horse show on the beach. We've, <laughs> we've had it in polo fields and some other places in Miami, but the setting is beautiful. I, I, I would never imagine having it here. And in terms of you here, I mean, you've got, you're competing here in the five-star classes, and of course you've got clients in the two-star classes as well competing this week. It's a busy old week. It's a busy week, yes. We've been here since 7 this morning. We've had people in the first class and the second and the third. and So a lot of my people are from South Florida and they're, they're very excited to be here. I was going to say, what's the buzz amongst the riders all down there about the place? Oh, they love it and the restaurants are fantastic here and the hotels are lovely. The scenery is beautiful. The people watching is amazing. It's just, <laughs> it's just quite the view. And we can see, I mean, we can see down here, we've got people behind us slowly coming in during the day literally watching off the beach which is great because the general public can just come and watch oh for sure the exposure that we're getting for our sport is fantastic there's people that have probably have never seen horses miami's kind of the horse industry is out kind of been pushed out further north so it's fantastic for them to be able to even get exposed to the sport well we can certainly say they've never seen them jumping on the beach from that point. i'm sure they've <laughs> never seen that and from your point of view i mean this week uh, what are the horses we're looking forward to well, I think the, the big class is what everyone's counting on going from there backwards. And uh, they there's a lot of the, all the top riders from all over the world are here. So that's very exciting. I'm sure it's going to be a little bit different. And it's more like an indoor setting with the ring being smaller. And, and it's just very exciting to have a, a class at this altitude here. Absolutely. I mean, you mentioned the ring there. I mean, the, the whole team here have done an amazing job in producing this show in a small space in an amazing setting. Yeah, and in a short short amount of time, it is, it's unbelievable. And in terms of logistics, I mean, it, it's all come together, really. I mean, stables over in the park and yeah. warm-ups behind us, all, all working well. It's amazing. So far, everything seems to be working very well. And you've competed at several of the Longines Global Champions Tour, and, and this season, hopefully seeing you in the likes of Paris and Valkensvard once again. What's it like then coming across to Europe? Well, it's very exciting. I mean, the sport over there is so big, and and I'm hoping that this kind of thing will really help it grow here. So it's, it's very exciting for us to go over and show in some of the venues that we get to over there. I mean, how big a thing do you think this is for US sport? I mean, you've mentioned the different guys as we've had at various competitions here in the US before, but this could take it to a new level. Oh, for sure. This is, this is huge, and, and it'll help the sport grow and help get exposure. I mean, we have so many different sports in our country, and this is something that, that really people are not that educated about. They think of horses and they think of horse racing. We have yeah. a lot of horse racing very close by here, but show jumping they don't see much of. <laughs> and in terms of show jumping, I mean, the, the exposure that we're now starting to get globally, and again, how here in the US, again, we're seeing all sorts of channels now picking this up, which is good for you as well. Oh, absolutely. It's grown immensely. I mean, it's just the, the amount of money that's in it now and the exposure of people coming and even the pe amount of people that are coming to the horse shows is, is just grown in, in leaps and bounds. And Margie, in terms of sports here in the U.S., I mean, how does it differ from that in Europe? Well, the, the U.S. has so many different sports, and we have football and baseball and soccer and horse racing. There's just so many different sports. So people have so many different things to look at. And, and the horses are really kind of foreign to a lot of people, especially in Miami. Yeah. And in terms of your own, your own support of other sports, what do you follow in the U.S.? I, I've always loved all sports. I followed football some because some of my owners are involved in that, the, big with the Dolphins and so forth, so I follow them a little bit. Um, um, basketball, Miami's very big into that. That's a big sport for us there. And, and I enjoy watching pretty much any sport. Yeah. I mean, you, you mentioned, I mean, Bob Greasy, who's part owner of one of your horses. I mean, huge Dolphins legend from that point of view. I mean, what's it like getting those kind of sports stars involved in this sport? Well, it's, it's very big because in Miami, he's such a big name and it helps get some exposure and some notoriety for our sport because people recognize his name. And he's, he's such a good sportsman himself and he really enjoys any, any kind of athletics. So he asks a lot of interesting questions about the horses. He's, he's not 
that knowledgeable yeah. really in it, but he's always asking questions and trying to learn and educate himself. Has he put one to you that has left you open mouth yet or not? <laughs> no, he's just, he acts, he actually asks very intelligent questions yeah. and, and he likes to know the mechanics of how the horses work and how they are as athletes and different things that we do. And he's very interested in it. Yeah. And the more he gains knowledge about it, the more interested he gets in the sport. Absolutely. I mean, exactly. Miami is such a diverse city from that point of view, the whole host of sports. And in terms of here, I mean, everything from accommodation to VIP hospitality, it's it's all appearing top notch. Oh, it's fantastic. And any kind of water sport you can think of, you can do out there. They have the parasailing, skiing, I mean, everything you can think of is out there. And we can see it all from here. Yeah, watch watch can, it from a hospitality table can, and watch, watch the sport. We can watch pretty much anything out there. <laughs> and you yourself, I mean, how do you ever relax in the sport? Do you ever get down to the beach? I actually grew up, growing up in Miami, we spent probably 90% of our life in the water. I, we lived on a small lake and growing up we were in the water more than on land. So we, I was always involved with water sports. Uh, my husband was actually into water polo, yeah. got a scholarship for for school, for vet school, playing water polo. Yeah. Oh, so the sport runs in the whole household anyway. Yeah, it's yeah. Been a... We're different aspects of the sport, but yeah. very sports minded. Absolutely. Brilliant. Well, good luck to you this week in Miami. We know it's going to be another amazing week. The sun's shining, as it always does here in Miami, yes, I'm told, always, from that point of view. You're not going to be worried about wearing jackets down here, for sure. <laughs> That's great. Good luck this week, and good luck to everyone competing here in Miami for the Launching Global Champions Tour.